Hello there. Hi, what's up? It's a girl Amy, also known as Mimi, and on this channel, right? This is my very first ever video, so I thought it was best that I do a little informative, you know, thing, a little thingy thing for you all. But this is mostly for them children that are going in secondary school or actually getting ready to leave secondary school. Y'all are seniors of the high school, right? And if you chose to do visual arts for CXC or CSEC, then you want to know this is like a guide for you on how to go about doing the particular subject. So it's like I'm giving you advice based on my experience. And yes, I'm graduated. Yeah, I'm graduated. And I am actually getting ready to go to college right now. And I decided why not give a little tip or some advice on that subject. Because I haven't really seen anyone really post anything on it I mean yes they give a little here and there on a journal and stuff but it really give you a, a general idea as to what exactly you have to expect for that subject so yeah don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more content like this and more enjoyable content that will be coming soon by the way so I'm done rambling on that I'm going to actually start this thing now tip number one when choosing your two expressive forms for CXC, ensure that they are manageable and they are within your skill level. So what I mean is, if you pick two expressive forms, for example, painting and mixed media, and those of you doing the actual subject and your teacher actually explain to you what are expressive forms, then you'll generally have a basic idea as to what I'm talking about right now. But if your teacher doesn't discuss that yet, then you won't really understand. But basically, the expressive forms is are actually what you're doing for CXC. So what ways are you going to portray your pieces towards CXC, basically? So if you pick paint and mix media and printmaking, right? Ensure that these two expressive forms are some are something that you could like are forms, sorry, that you could actually make pieces from and it's not too too difficult for you to actually, you know, go about doing and planning and so on and implementing actually because you need to do it. It's art. You need to use your hands, not your just theory. So yeah. Tip number two, time management. Why I stressing on time management? I would always stress on time management. Reason being, you don't just have art. One, some of you, you all have chose to do at home. Two, and three, if you don't learn how to manage your time, it would be worse for you in college or in university when you actually leave to go and pursue your career in whatever studies. Okay, so manage your time wisely. Especially with those practical subjects like FNN, which is food, nutrition, and health, and home management. Those subjects require a lot of time planning and a lot of sleepless nights. And yes, you have sleepless nights and stuff. But yeah, manage your time properly and you won't have so much of stress. It lessens your stress and you being overwhelmed about the amount of tasks you have to do, especially since you're doing multiple subjects. I know y'all not just doing one subject. I know that. Because some schools, like as in colleges, some schools require CXC passes for you to be able to do their program, like TAM CC in Grenada. You check? So, yeah. A trick or a hack for that, I would call it a trick, is do those denser subjects, like the task for the denser. The <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Anyways, do the task for the denser subjects first. 
Or ask a teacher if you could kind of head start on the denser subjects first before, like a good like three months before the actual exam. Like I won't mean like exam itself, but like you know before it's like February, the about like next year January February. If you're doing your exams in January February, I don't know. Most likely y'all go do it in September. But for me personally, I had to do my exam in May June. I think it was May May, and my teacher made us do all the prep work and everything because it was really a lot. It's a really dense subject. She made us do all of that within first term which is september to you know october let me say october september to december and now you go for your christmas break so she made us do our different plan and thing for we pieces around september this so but that's for my the, i'm speaking based on my experience okay doing the subject but um yeah the trick to all of this you do your denser subjects first compared to subjects like bio bio and things like that like they are dense all subjects are dense but preferably i would like to tackle the practical things first rather than the theory subjects because it takes more time tip number i think three yeah i think it's three i can't remember but another tip tip is give yourself more time towards the denser subjects I mean expressive forms what do I mean by this if you have again printmaking and painting and mixed media and you realize you could get ideas a lot and plan easier with printmaking than painting and mixed media then obviously you're going to take more time in doing the expressive form that you know requires less work to you but really and truly you should go after the one that gives you a bit more headache to actually come up with pieces for and trust me it would benefit you in both ways because you can't depend on one expressive form alone you have to depend on both because i think your journal your pieces everything is i think 90 something marks i can't remember exactly but it's around the 90 Nine, 90 to 100 range about this so for your max for CXE yes yes it's a lot considering you don't do much theory but you're doing pieces like art so your art really needs to stand out exactly why plan is, planning is essential for that particular subject right so ensure that the two expressive forms that you chose ensure that you give enough time to both expressive forms especially the one that's more difficult for you to plan Okay, uh, next tip, ensure that you have at least one local artist within your reflective journal. Now this part, your teacher would explain to you better exactly what is required of you in your reflective journal for CXC. So that technically that journal is your SBA in, in a sense, because other subjects have SBAs, which is school-based assessment. And that is going to be really your SBA. It's going to be a booklet, a journal of your research, etc. for those two expressive forms for your course throughout the course of Form 5 or your high school year, right? Not necessarily from Form 1, but throughout your fifth form senior year, that's literally your SBA for visual arts. Um, so when I mean local artists, I mean get someone that's within your country or within your island right so for Grenada and it's had to be based on your expressive form so if you have paint and mixed media you need to find at least try your best if you can't find no artists local artists then okay but try your best to find an artist that's local and within that does the same expressive form as you know what you're doing right now so if you're doing painting and mixed media find an artist that does painting and mixed media as well and ensure that it's a local artist okay and another thing too make sure that when you're looking at the artist's work because you not only have to find the artist but you need to try and create a biography of the artist 
again the teacher would explain to you what exactly is expected of you for that particular area of your journal but ensure that the artist's work because you have to choose pieces to critique as well ensure that the work done by the artist has the required information for it from the tag so the mediums used the title the year it was created um the size those things matter because it goes or adds points to your research that's the purpose of you doing the journal and the purpose of you doing the research you know to find info and if it even if you can't find info but you really want that piece you could put not applicable or n a as in yeah not applicable or you can't find it, right so yeah next thing next tip <laughs> next tip y'all outside hot my hair kind of fuzzy right now is i keep the afro i'm a bee just going here while i full on just just pull that in i'm just kidding man but yeah so next one ensure oh this is actually a tip right i mean trick right when finding if you do find a local artist it's more likely you'll get more marks in a sense because you did actually do research but it would be more credible for you to use local artists within your area to get you know your marks because your marks are literally necessary for you to do other things but yes you need it's more credible for you to get an online I mean a local artist compared to you know someone that's just from America and I don't think you could get someone from America or these places because you have to be Caribbean based so if you get an artist from the another Caribbean island then sure be my guest right next tip because I can I actually lost count on how much tips I have and I think it was two tricks or hacks if you want to put it like that another tip is ensure that your art pieces have a statement to them unless told otherwise what is the statement I'm talking about I'm talking about a meaning behind your piece you cannot expect to have a mango and tell them people it is a mango but what is the essential in-depth meaning of that mango and you have nothing you get a really low mark for that I think the only expressive form that you can really use a statement for is I think painting on this media because the piece you had to use a word to describe but I can't remember so yeah ensure that your piece have a meaning if your piece have a meaning it's more likely to have some form of sus substance or some form of you know alleviance or some form of you know substance okay make sure your piece have meaning so that you know you can get your required marks i ain't say i didn't want you yeah? not again them coconuts and them not again them coconuts <laughs> it has been real hard eh? and mind you, you work hard on the piece but there's nothing behind it so it means nothing um, next tip is ensure that your title used is Caribbean based. So for another, uh, yeah, an example of that is, well, I'll give you my journal title. It was Exploring Caribbean, I mean, Exploring African Tribal Prints Through Caribbean Art. It has to be based on that. I chose Caribbean Prints because we kind of have an African descent or ancestral background in Grenada, Grenada so I chose that and I went around and walked around it to create pieces inspired by that title okay and my expressive forms through my through my expressive forms yeah my camera well my phone died but yeah the last and final tip and I would stress just like time management I would stress on this tip because sis it helps honestly that one is going to be your emergency or your backup save and your lockdown for some good marks it won't be the best 
but you're going to be something. You're going to have some marks. Ensure that your prep work is done. Now, this is for basically exam day or like any piece that the teacher wants you to do. Ensure that your prep work, and I will explain what this means, is done properly and to the best of your ability. No matter if it's called prep work, it's still something that you have to present to people so that they can understand and visualize your concept of a piece. Prep work is basically, like I just said, something to help back up or add substance other than the statement to your piece that you're creating. So, let me give you an instance. If you don't have your prep work, right? That is research. So you're talking, you're planning how you plan to go about setting up the piece, the different stages you took to actually put the piece together, um, the elements, the mediums you tested for that particular piece so you could find the best one, etc. And most importantly, a little replica of the actual piece itself. So if you're doing a sculpture, then a little replica of how you're going about doing it will give you personally, it helps you. Yes, it might seem like a lot more work compared to, you know, just doing it, like winging it. Sis, you can't just wing it because sometimes it goes wrong. Just imagine exam day, you don't have your prep work and you just have your, your statements. And the piece that you visualize in your head, it does not go as planned, just like saying, you go and do textile right because that's one textile and manipulation i think that's one yes it is an expressive form you go and do the piece you sketch it out yes but you just do a vikey vi thing and, and not too good thing and you go and say you're doing tie-dye on the day now sis if you say you plan to put it to sun dry and on the day of exam rain falling now who fault is it for not bringing a blue dryer you always had to have backup and thing, you check. And even if the tie-dye don't come out proper on the day of exam, if your prep work has like a little replica of the tie-dye you intended for that piece to look, you would most likely give this the persons who dealing with the actual pieces or grading the pieces an idea as to, oh, okay, so exam day she messed up a bit, but I can see where she's coming from. Do you understand? No, that is a big essential part of everything I just said. The main things you need to understand is that you need to have your prep work done for exam day and any piece. You need to have a brief statement. Time management is key because not only would you be doing visual ads, but you have other subjects to do. Um, and other necessities and tricks to just go with the overall subject. I hope this was helpful. I've been rambling for too long, so um, yeah, I really hope it was. And if not, um, I really do hope you can ask your teacher for assistance, right? And comment down below what questions or what things I miss that you really do need help with because I don't mind sharing, okay? I don't mind. So yeah, thank you for watching if you have watched thus far and please stay tuned because there are really, really much more fun content than this. I really just decided to like, you know, go forth and give y'all some little sister, big sister talk or little big sister to little brother talk, okay, on a subject, a particular subject. Y'all have a good evening. Yes, I literally vlog this in the evening or good morning or good night what it depends on what time you, you decide to watch this video or yeah to this point um yeah bye